numbers. And uh, and I started studying numbers a little bit myself, and I found out that uh, some of the people that are responsible for um, for, for the, a lot of the study into numbers were the ancient Chinese. Apparently, thousands and thousands of years ago, the ancient Chinese studied all the different characteristics of certain numbers. And they used to use numbers in everyday life for all sorts of exciting things. Eh? Basic decisions would be made by the ancient Chinese based on some numbers that they would choose. Which is why, if you ever go to a Chinese restaurant for a meal, you'll notice that down the side, every item's got a number. You're going to go out for a night out, you're going to go out for a Chinese meal. Right, I'm going to make some decisions, and the decisions are going to be made using numbers. Now, I've got um, some cards here to represent the numbers. We've got the ace through to the nine of diamonds. Uh, Glenn, you can take those. Give them a little mix-up for me. Yeah. Alan, um, we, we need somebody who's going to be in charge. We need somebody who's going to be in charge of choosing the food, and two people who are going to be in charge of how much you spend. I'm going to let you make that decision, Alan. Who do you think should be in charge of choosing the food? You! <laughs> Dear me, I don't know why. All right, in which case, you are the one who's actually going to be in charge of the menu, Alan. All right? Um, now, Glenn, um, you two are going to be in charge of, um, of deciding how much to spend. All right, we're going to do it all with the numbers. You're going to choose the menu with the numbers. Uh, and you get three cards each. So who would like the first three cards? Glenn. Yep, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll You're say. going to be stuck for conversation with this meal out, aren't you, eh? <laughs> Okay, Glenn, you're going to have the first three cards, and, um, okay, um, Chris, who's going to have the next three, you or Alan? <laughs> you oh, it's getting quite simple, isn't it? It's almost in order. And that means, Alan, you get the last three. Okay, in fact, it doesn't have to be you. Which, which one would you like to be the first person to give me a number? You want to give me a number. All right, you can give me any one of your cards. It doesn't matter which one. You can look at it. You can just give me it. It doesn't matter. Four. You're going to give me a number four. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write number four here. Thus. That's a Latin word that means thus. <laughs> okay, Chris, you're going to give me one of your cards? Any one at all? Which one do you want to give me? An eight. An eight? Okay, given us 48. You see, if that had been the other way around, that would have been 84. Do you see how I'm working this? Yeah. Excellent. Give me another one of your cards. Any one at all? Yeah. You give me a nine this time, okay? See, you could have given me the nine up there, it would have been 98, but you give me it down here. Okay, and you're going to give me one of your cards, Chris. Give me... A six. A six! Wonderful, which gives us 96. You've only got one card left. It's not going to be a difficult decision for you, this one. <laughs> all right? Just have a quick look. Greg, what have you got? Dave, Bob, two! I'll put that one there. And your last card is? A one. A one. Giving us 21. You shuffled the card. You decided who got which cards. You decided which cards you give me. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them up. Watch carefully. Eight plus six is? Fourteen. Fourteen. Plus one? Fifteen, that's right, fifteen. Carry the one. Two plus one is three, plus the nine is twelve, plus the four there is sixteen. Giving us one, six, five. That's how much you've got to spend. But of course, we've got to put in the decimal point. <laughs> Chris, you've got one pound sixty-five to spend on this exciting meal. I bet you can't wait to go out, can you? Not with him as well, there's not going to be much left over for you, I'll tell you. <laughs> Okay, Alan, will you do me a favour? Yes. Would you add up your three cards that you've got there? Just add them up and tell me how much they add up to. Fifteen. Fifteen, wonderful. Now, let me just take that... Um, I'll take the menu. I'll take the cards as well. Fifteen. Look at this. If you'd have got item number 37, you'd have got king prawn pineapple. Four pounds thirty. Can't afford that. If you've got item number 20, beef with sweet corn. Five pounds. You can't afford that. Item number two, one ton soup, two pounds. You can't even afford a bowl of soup. <laughs> Some good news coming up though. Number six, chicken and noodle soup, one pound fifty. Could get that, couldn't you, with three spoons? <laughs> but you didn't have any of them. The, the item that you were left with was item number 15. Alan, in a nice, loud voice, would you read out what is that item number 15? Uh, a special all-you-can-eat buffet for three people. How much? £1.65. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Give a big round of applause. Thanks a lot.